What if you were pushed to such an extreme that you would set yourself aflame to make people hear your voice? Welcome to a world where the lines between passion and desperation blur, where the fight for peace can sometimes lead to personal war. Imagine this. You're standing on the streets of Washington, D.C., outside the Israeli embassy. It's a Sunday afternoon. The sun is beating down on the pavement. People are holding signs, their voices echoing off the buildings nearby. The air vibrates with a shared sentiment, the plea for a ceasefire in Gaza. In the midst of this, a U.S. airman, a cyber defense specialist based in San Antonio, on active duty since 2020, steps forward. He douses himself in lighter fluid and lets himself alight. His last words echo through the crowd, free Palestine. He collapses and later dies from his injuries. This extreme act of protest shakes the crowd, the city, the world. Even as the Secret Service rushes in, searching his car, his hotel, the shock is palpable. There are no explosive devices, just the fiery passion of a man pushed to his limits. People react with a mix of emotions, disgust, anger, sadness. The question on everyone's lips is, why? Why did it have to come to this? The answer comes from the crowd itself. It should not have been necessary. The United States should have abandoned sending aid to Israel and continuing to prop up their illegal apartheid. Meanwhile, the US Air Force extends its deepest sympathies to the family of the fallen sergeant a solemn reminder of the personal costs of political strife. As the day winds down, a glimmer of hope shines through. The president announces that a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas could be just days away. But for the young man who died protesting the war, this news comes too late. This is a stark reminder of the human toll of global conflicts. It's a story of passion turned into desperation, of a fight for peace that became a personal war. And above all, it's a call for change for a world where no one has to set themselves aflame to be heard. To conclude, this narrative chronicles the extreme act of protest by a U.S. airman outside the Israeli embassy, the mixed reactions it stirred, and the subsequent announcement of a potential ceasefire. It underscores the urgent need for peaceful resolutions and the prevention of such desperate acts in the future.